the safest things when it comes to anything other than nicotine are going to be the FDA approved products in the form of patches and gums. Right beneath that is what we just talked about, the nicotine pouches where um, they are not tobacco derived. I think I would take a big step down and then talk about e-cigarettes. What do we know about how addictive nicotine itself can be? Boilerplate answer here is that nicotine is highly addictive and the discontinuation of nicotine will lead to withdrawal symptoms. The most prominent of these being irritability, anxiety, even anger, uh, difficulty concentrating, sleep disturbances. What do we know about other chemicals that can be present in these products and the health implications of those so people kind of understand why they would want to avoid them? Most of the things that are added to nicotine replacement therapies, which have been approved by the FDA, are there to basically add flavor, texture, stabilization, um, and, and, a, and adjust absorption. If your nicotine is tobacco derived as opposed to synthetic, uh, you are still probably assuming risk. So let's kind of now go from risks, downsides, to potential benefits. A lot of people will talk about how, hey, when I use this stuff, I feel better, I feel sharper. Yes, but as you're increasing your dependency, you may actually end up losing that um, when you're deprived of nicotine.